There was no major disruption at government offices and other workplaces following the union's call for a day of rest and reflect today. Minister of Education Anthony Garcia says there was a 50% teacher turnout throughout the nation's schools. He said while some schools individually had excellent teacher attendance, there was some reporting very poor turnout. But he said the national average was good. Ian Wilson has more. Learning and teaching went on in the large majority of our schools, more than 95% of our schools. I can safely say at this point. Education Minister Anthony Garcia at the press conference at the Education Towers in Port of Spain. He said throughout the country, 50% of teachers came out to work at the primary school level, while 52% reported for duty at the secondary school level. He added, normally on any given day, teacher turnout would be around 75%. But remember, this was a call that was made and the it was said most definitely that <coughs> teachers will not be at school. The president of tutor made the point. He said teachers will not be at school. In other words, he was saying and he was indicating to the national community that today we have had zero <coughs> attendance of our teachers at our schools. The education minister said at his former school, Fatima College, where he served as principal, teacher turnout was 100%. He added, at another school, in fact, a Port of Spain convent, 60 out of 63 teachers were in class. But as Charlene Lewis reports, the picture among South schools was somewhat different. 100% absenteeism reported in many primary and secondary schools. Some of these schools included Penal Primary, Siparia East Secondary School, and Monkey Town Government, to name a few. Others were Avocat Vidic, Pepper Village Government, Freeport Hindu Primary, Bamboo Government, Kirep Presbyterian, Tunapuna Government, St. Clements Vidic, and Karapichai Ashja. MP for Princess Town Barry Padarat said from statistics it appeared teachers heeded tutor's call to rest and reflect. In the constituencies of Faisabad, Point of Pier, Separia, Princess Town, Many of the South constituencies, and we are getting reports from our councillors in other parts of the country, including the East West Corridor, that Tutor has responded positively to the day of rest and reflection. Padarat also indicated that in South Trinidad, many government workers also responded to the unions and stayed away from work. That there are people who are responding positively to the day of rest and reflection and is resisting any attempt by the government to muscle them or keep them suppressed. Such were the reports coming out from education. Now let's join Marie Hull to tell you how the health sector was impacted. This white calls for all health professionals to rest and reflect. Health Minister Terence Yael Singh said the country matured and there was a 100% turnout. They rejected the opposition. They rejected the call by irresponsible union leaders to shut down the country today. I have been getting reports since 6 a.m. this morning. All our health facilities are fully staffed, fully manned, and a grateful public is telling thanks to all our healthcare workers who put duty and put the caring of the sick and vulnerable above everything else. Head of the Northwest Regional Health Authority, Wendy Ali, said, while the unions have a job to do, she was also pleased that workers reported for duty as normal. Well, I think the unions have a job to do, and they are doing their jobs, and we have a job to do. And, you know, I just want to say thank you to all the members of the health fraternity, all categories of staff, for putting the care of our patients and those who depend upon us first. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Public Administration reported a 98% attendance today. The ministry said similar numbers were recorded across the public service. Marie Hall, TTT News.